Consumers are becoming more conscious of what goes into the products they use. And with Earth Day coming up, we wanted a lesson in how to tell what's good and what's potentially bad in, on those labels. Jessica Moeller with Hand and Land is here to educate us. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yeah. I think the labels can be confusing. They and we want to and we're a little bit more careful with our with our small children of what we put on their skin, but we forget about ourselves. Exactly. We need to, so let's start with deodorant. Deodorant. So this is a great transition into mm -hmm. natural living. Aluminum free, it's easy, it's effective, they smell good. Mm -hmm use different essential oils to help fight bacteria and even eliminate the body odor. Now, aluminum is in most deodorant that you will see in at the drugstore. In, in antiperspirant, anti correct. Why is it bad for you? So it has been linked to Alzheimer's and breast cancer. Mm. So it's just something that I choose personally to just avoid altogether, especially when there's a natural alternative that works. Do they really work? They do. Okay. So they're very personal. And do they smell good? They I do. I'm going to see what it smells like. So that one is How the, do you apply this? So you just use about a pea size amount. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try one of these oh, maybe. There um, we go. Okay. Use about a pea size amount and you just rub oh, it, it in great. like a lotion and it dissolves. Hmm. It's great. And it Very lasts cool. a long time. So all of the natural products are highly concentrated, so mm -hmm. you don't really need to use as much. So what is this right here? So that is bug spray. So this is great, especially for people with small children. Mm -hmm. It's DEET free. No DEET. No DEET. Okay. DEET in height doses has caused seizures. It's just mm -hmm. something I don't really want to mess around with. And there are a lot of natural alternatives when it comes to bug spray. So just mm -hmm. look on your label if you want to avoid DEET altogether and then keep, especially with you know, all the concerns of mosquitoes these days with oh, Lyme yeah. disease. And, and this works. We had multiple people come back last year and buy it for their kids when they were taking trips mm -hmm. to the Lake of the Ozarks. There, okay, so mom approved. Mom I approved. love that. What do we have here? So we've got a couple different things. We've got this texturizing spray, which has got a, uh, organic aloe vera and sea kelp to really mm -hmm. moisturize the hair. And you can use that in place of aerosols. Aerosols contribute to indoor air pollutants. Mm -hmm. If you've ever sprayed hairspray in your bathroom, it's right, like chokes you right. out. Yep, this it's is bad great. For you. I've got it in my hair right now today. And your hair is beautiful. Thank so you. what should we look for on labels to avoid? Is it is it sulfur? What is the what are it's just more or less like for this particular mm -hmm. one, aerosols. So that's like okay. your Lysols, your air fresheners, okay. anything that you know you can that have you can the continuous spray. spray. That's uh, flammable. And I, I think with when you're buying shampoos and conditioners and lotions, anything that's going in our hair on our skin, we do need to read the labels. And and there, what, what are the words that you look for to avoid? Anything you can't pronounce? <laughs> well, not always, because sometimes they will use the scientific name or the mm -hmm. the Latin name, and that might be an essential okay. oil. So just kind of familiarizing yourself with those ingredients and then having your phone handy and you know Google research. Yeah. Okay, but I like that you're avoiding your the own, aerosols. Yeah, be your be your own advocate. What are, what are these right here, these so wraps? Th these are bees wraps. These are really groovy. So they're organic cotton and then they're brushed with beeswax and plant resin and jojoba oil. And this will replace your aluminum foil, your plastic wrap, and your baggies. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's, these bad, what's bad about our baggies? Plastic. Plastic. Okay. Well, then we have to Single worry use about recycling. Baggies. Yeah. yeah. It's just okay. it's, it's unnecessary waste that contributes to negative impacts right. on the environment. Let's talk about this right here. These are great. So these are plant-based um, uh, sulfate-free cleaners that actually come in these beautiful glass bottles that you can refill them at our shop. So we have a bulk filling station. Oh, that's nice. So that's laundry detergent, mm -hmm. hand soap, dish soap, and all-purpose cleaner. So it's good for the environment. It's also good for us. Mm -hmm. Saving money and saving the planet. There we you love go. That. We do love that. <laughs> and we will have a link to the Hand and Land website on ours so you can find out about all of these products at caseylive.tv. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Let's check in with Joel in the kitchen.